Uh, hello, minions of California. We are currently experiencing a uh, massive uh, heat wave. I encourage all of my fellow Californians to please conserve energy as much as possible. And I encourage all Californians to please limit the use of indoor appliances as much as you possibly can so that we can get this heat wave under control. How, how can anybody vote for this clown? This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. We got a whole bunch of brand new product that's launched on the store. You better get it now because it's running out fast. Fathers Matter. We got a whole bunch of other designs with the leather patch on the front. This is authentic. Made in America leather right here in the beautiful state of Arizona. Get your hat today. Adam 2024 will get you 20% off the entire store. And I'm only doing the 20% off for you guys. It's only for y'all because I love y'all. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to so get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on the video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Gavin Newsom. I don't know how people are voting for him. I, I, I just, I cannot fathom how lethargic you have to be as a voter to think that this guy is even rational. Now, we already know that they're out here making claims that they want every single vehicle to be electric by, by 2030 something. Or they're going to stop the production of gas vehicles by 2030-something. I just, I, I, I don't understand the logic. And then what happens when there's a heat wave, which it, you, you can argue that it was hot, it's the hottest it's ever been. So what? Now, everybody got to be without power and it's, it's too much drain on the grid. Well, what you think going to happen if everybody had electric cars? You, what, what kind of drain on the grid do you think that'll be? I mean, you're talking about increasing electric vehicle ownership by probably like 90%. You're, probably, you're, you're talking about a, a few million new cars that are going to be plugged into a grid. And in San Francisco, it, it, it don't, the, the, charge, the charging ports, a third of them don't even work. But listen to what he said, and I want to point out the contradiction. He's telling you, now we go look at his mansions, plural, his facilities and, th and stuff that he owned, they probably crank that thing down to 65 degrees. He in, the, he in the comfort of his own home doing this, just burning through energy. His electric bill is probably $2,000 a month. But he's telling y'all to turn up to 78. It's totally fine. It feels great. 78 degrees. So we, we could slow down the grid. And, 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 the, and the LA Rams is spending $40,000 on electricity for three-hour football game. But they don't have to shut. They don't have to change the stadium and, and, and go play somewhere else and only play away games, you know how much juice that stadium is sucking? Okay, let me let you hear his clip and then we're gonna show the stadium so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Roll the clip. Make sure that that thermostat's above 78 degrees. Still feels cool beyond words. I walked in at 78 degrees and felt like I needed a jacket. Just to turn down uh, a light or turn uh, down a thermometer and not use a large appliance. Uh, we would not be in the position we are today. So we're encouraging folks again tonight. I don't know if it's the veneers. I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. The, the guy just looks like a snake. He looks like a snake. He, I mean, he, he's, he's inauthentic. I don't know how people think he's even serious. He is the most inauthentic politician outside of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. He's one of the most inauthentic politicians I've ever heard of in my life. And if you ever watch him in his other press conferences, he try to be like Obama. He go, he does the little thing. His cadence is like Obama. It's, it's like they went to the same speech school. Dude, be authentic. Be yourself. But you know they can't be themselves because they're crooked. It's three left shoes on an eight-legged man. Now, I want you guys to listen, look at the stadium. I just want you to have the visual, see the visual uh, uh, reality of this stadium and the juice that is pulling from the grid. Roll a clip. Now, I don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. But I have to say, either these people are extremely incompetent, evil, or both. There is no way in the world that you need to be that extreme when it comes to climate. It's okay if you believe that we need to do something about the climate. I think that we should do the best that we can to make sure that we're doing everything more, that's most proficient and clean for our environment. I agree a thousand percent. But bankrupting the country 
lying to people about facts isn't the way you accomplish that. If you were to say electric cars are a better option for our environment than gas guzzlers, that's fine. Give incentives for electric cars. I, I mean, I wouldn't even say doing that because the government really don't need to be involved in that because then they're picking and choosing the winners in, a, in an open market society. So all I say is that if you want to pay for advertising and push propaganda that's truthful and explaining to people why they should pick one over the other, that's America. Explain to the people and let them make the decision. You don't force people to do stuff because, you, because of your agenda. And I'm telling you, it's going to fail. There's no way in the world that they can take that much electricity on the grid. And, it, and, it, and it's not going to work out fairly for everybody. All you got to do is think about, okay, if you live in an apartment complex, are they going to make 45 grids or 45 charging ports? Are they going to make 70, depending on how big your, your, your uh, apartment complex is? Are they going to make 70 charging ports? And if they don't, who's going to charge their car when? If you don't make a charging port for every single person, then when are they going to charge their cars? Are they going to drive down the street? Like, Are you, are you going to have a, just a charging farms of random people going and parking their cars and charging for 30, 40 minutes at a time? It, it's, just, it's, it's asinine to me that they won't be honest about this stuff. It seems like it's going to be a catastrophe. It's no way, no way that this seems like it's going to make any sense. And then they want you to believe that they're going to add 7 million cars to the grid and somehow your electric, your electric bill is not going to go up. It, it, your electric, so you think that somehow they're going to make a special grid for electric cars. They're just going to make a special, a special power source for just electric cars. And then what powers your house is going to be a complete different electrical grid. No, that's not going to happen. They're going to lump all this into the electric company. They're going to become trillionaires. And your electric bill is going to go up by 80%. Because there's no way in the world they can have that much demand on the, on the system. And, your, and, and the prices don't go up. Okay. All right. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. We'll see. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out.